SmartDraw lets you automatically provision thousands of users using single sign-on and assign access based on existing corporate permissions and groups. It's the easiest way to deploy SmartDraw in a large corporate environment using Azure Active Directory. To configure the integration of SmartDraw into Azure AD, you need to add SmartDraw to your list of managed apps. In the Azure Active Directory service, navigate to Enterprise Applications and search for SmartDraw. Select SmartDraw from the Results panel, and you should see a pop-in from the right with details. Click Create. In the Azure portal, on the SmartDraw Application Integration page, select Single Sign-On. Next, choose SAML. On this page, click the Edit Pen icon for basic SAML configuration to edit the settings. In the Sign On URL text box, type a URL using the following pattern. The SmartDraw application expects the SAML assertions in a specific format, which requires you to add custom attribute mappings to your SAML token attributes configuration. SmartDraw expects a few more attributes to be passed back in SAML response, which are shown here. These attributes are also pre-populated, but you can review them as per your requirements. On this page, in the SAML Signing Certificate section, find Federation Metadata XML and select Download to download the certificate and save it to your computer. You will need to add this XML to your SmartDraw account. Now, log in to your SmartDraw account and click on the SSO tab in the left navigation. Click on the Import SAML Metadata button. On the next screen, select XML file and browse to the XML file you saved from Azure AD on your computer. SmartDraw will automatically process the imported file. You can double check the SAML issues and URL and click Save Configuration to enable Azure AD SSO. When you're ready to fully enable SSO for every user, make sure you check Allow All Users of the Above Domains to log in using this SAML config and save your settings. This toggle lets you check your SSO setup before users can see it. You can turn it on and off as you need to to test things, but it needs to be checked for your users to be able to use SSO with SmartDraw.